That was our national anthem there. Welcome back to Mays High Basketball. Today we have the boys Eagles versus the boys Salt Hawks. Starting fives are ready to be introduced. Number three, Cortland Standifer, the point guard starting for the Eagles. Jack Howard starting for the Salt Hawks. Number two. Warren Good starting for Mays. Trent Webster for the Salt Hawks. The 6'4 senior. Number 12, the 5'10 five, the five senior, Keyshawn Johnson, leading scorer for the Eagles. Colt Fee for the Salt Hawks. Number 10, the 6 foot junior. Drake Spence for, with his first start for the Eagles. Turner Wentz for the Salt Hawks. And then Logan Miller starting for the for the Eagles. That'll be their starting five. Ryan Stickline, number 23. The 5'11 senior will finish that off for the Salt Hawks. Drake Spence getting the start over Matt Labigue. No Matt Lebeek tonight for the Eagles. He was most of their post presence that they had, but Drake Spence with the tip off. And Mays is gonna win it. Standifer bobbled the ball over to Keyshawn. He's got some room. Standifer calling out the play. Miller on the right wing. Back to Standifer. Miller with the shot fake. Good in the paint. And that is stolen away by number three. Tanifer back with the fast break. And that one is going to be an easy lay-in for number three, Trent Webster. Miller on the wing. Down the good. Swings it over to Johnson. Back to Tanifer. Miller with the nice jab step. He gets the three off. That one's going to be missed. Good with the rebound, but it's taken away by Turner. Excuse me, by Webster. And Webster's just going to lose that one out of bounds. Miller with the inbound. Over to Stanford. High octane offense for the Eagles. They are 2 and 0, and Hutch is just 0 and 1. Only played one game so far this season. Good at the top of the key. They're going to say he moved his pivot foot, and that's going to be called a travel. The senior Webster with the inbound. Mays is gonna is gonna press. Howard with the ball. Nice behind the back move to fake Stanifer. Tentative pass down to number twenty three, Ryan Stickline. That's going to be Hutch Ball. 
6.39 left in this first quarter. <coughs> Wentz over to number two, Howard. And Ryan Stick line there with the basket. Nice baby hook there by the senior. Logan Miller swings it over to Keyshawn Johnson. He puts up the three. That one's just a bit short. Rebounded by number 11, Turner Wentz. Standiford, Standiford trying to force some baseline. And Standiford's going to tip that one out. Jacob Schultz checking in for Warren Good. Schultz, a junior, standing at 6'4". Webster with a nice spin move. Down stick line. He powers through and he gets a nice bank. Six to zero. May's defense has just been abused in the paint so far. All six points coming through the paint. Keyshawn Johnson with the ball. Gets it down low to Spence. He finds an open Miller. And that ball is going to be a little short. Rebounded by Schultz. Power dribble, tries to go off glass, unable to. They're going to call a foul on Hutchinson. That'll be on number three, Trent Webster. Mays is yet to get on the board. Grant Bugby checking in for Keyshawn Johnson. Bugby a sharp shooting three-point shooter. Over to Spence. Bugby on the wing. Swings it over to Miller. Standifer back to Miller. Gets it down to Spence. Tries to do a spin move. Double teamed. He's got nowhere to go. And he's going to be fouled. Spence has nice size for position and good athleticism. Grant Bugby with the pass in. Tries to get an alley oop to. Jacob Schultz, and he's going to be fouled. We're going to give him two shots on that one. Schultz also a very good rebounder coming off of the bench for this Eagles. For the Eagles, excuse me. Hoping to get on the board with this free throw. And they do. He knocks down the first one. Six to one. Keyshawn Johnson checks back in for Logan Miller. They have the three guards that they like to play together, Standifer, Bugby, and Johnson. And they have Schultz and Spence down low. The second free throw attempt is good. Six to two. Stick line pass to the point guard, Howard. Howard with that behind the back move. He's already shown that two times earlier in the game. Howard with the ball on the wing. Stick line pass to number 10. He takes a three. That's a little bit short. Rebounded by Grant Bugby. That's over to a leading Standifer. Tries to drive to the hole, and he's going to be fouled. Excuse me. No, they're going to call a jump ball. Colton Fee there with the three-point attempt earlier. Possession arrow is going to go toward Hutchinson. Howard trying to get it past half court. And he does. <coughs> Colton Fee with the ball. Howard takes a three-pointer. That one just rattles out. That's going to be another jump ball. This time is going to Mays. Good effort by Keyshawn Johnson. Get on the floor to get that ball. Spence is going to be substituted for Warren Good. Johnson with the pass down the good. Open Bugby. He takes a three. Just a bit short. Eagle shot attempts, have, they've had good attempts, but none of them has fallen. Howard trying to get past Johnson. 
The attempted pass down low to Maldonado. And that's going to be another jump ball. Three just in the past two minutes. That's going to be Hutch ball. Number five, Trey Richards checking in, the 5'11 junior. Howard over to 25, Fawcett. Stick line with a great pass out to Standifer. And then Bugby is just in the way of Standifer, goes off of his own foot. Fawcett with the ball. Nice spin trying to shake Standifer. Ball, there's going to be a loose ball, and they're going to call a foul on Mays. Grant Bugby a little slow to get up. Looks like Bugby was hitting the nose, and there might there's a little blood. Jacob Schultz is going to check in for Bugby. Trying to get the blood off the floor. Six to two here. Mays has had two free throw attempts, knocked them both down. No field goals so far for the Eagles. Hutchinson has definitely taken advantage of no Matt LeBeek down in the paint. His presence down there is just, you could say, very crucial to the Eagles' defense because no, no player really wants to drive to the basket with a 6'6 center um, there to basically block just about every shot that comes his way. Pass to Fawcett, number 25. That one's stolen by Logan Miller. Nice steal by Miller. Standifer tries to get it to Schultz, but it's stolen by number five, Trey Richards. Standifer with the steal. He's got the fast break and just lays it in. Nice finger roll. Six to four. The on-ball defense has been great so far for the Eagles, but it hasn't translated through the scoreboard and through the offense, I might say. Number 32 with the miss. He gets his own offensive rebound and the easy putback. That'll be Canyon Maldonado. No one there to even contest him on the second putback. Johnson over to Miller. Stand front of the corner. Down the good. He's got some space. Went for the shot attempt, but they're going to call that a foul. That will be number 24, Colby Holmberg, the 5'9 sophomore. Warren Good getting two shots. 2.37 left in the first quarter, and he knocks down the first one. Warren Good, a transfer 
as well as Logan Miller and Corlin Standifer. Standifer and Johnson are, Standifer, Johnson, and Miller, I might say, are all from Northwest. The second free throw is knocked down. That'll be six to eight. Howard guarded tightly by Johnson. Warren good with nice defense on Wentz. Howard trying to get past good, and he can't do that. Over to stick line on the corner. Back to Wentz. Wentz drives baseline. Nice spin move. No one there to stop him, but he just planks the layup. Standifer trying to push the pace. Over to open Miller. He does not take the shot. Swings it out to Johnson. He takes a shot, and that's going to be just short. Rebounded by Standifer with the putback. No foul either way. That was either a blocker or a charge, but nothing was called there. Standifer on Wentz. Tipped away by Drake Spence. Stick line with the ball. Over to Wentz. He's got some room. To Trey Richards. Back to Wentz. Wentz has been going to that spin move quite often. Mays is going to have to predict that sooner or later. And a nice pass down to number 10 in the paint. Colton Fee with an easy layup. 10 to 6 with one minute left in this first quarter. Warren Good with the ball on the elbow. Standifer with the three. It's just a little off. Drake Spence there with the rebound. But they're going to call a jump ball. He was fighting for that one, to say the least. Jacob Schultz choke, checking in for Warren Good. That's going to be a timeout maze. With 48 seconds left, score is six maze. Hutchinson, 10. Cortland Standifer with the inbound for the Eagles. It's got to open Johnson on the wing. Johnson has a nice quick first step. Used greatly to get past defenders, and it works quite often. Miller swings it over to Standifer. Nice shot fake. Shot on the elbow, goes down. 10-8. 25 seconds left in this first quarter. Good defensive game so far. Great physicality down in the paint by both teams. Howard over to Molinado. Turner Wentz with the ball. He's got to get a shot up. And he does. That's going to be an air ball rebounded by Drake Spence. And he's just going to hold the ball. At the end of the first quarter, score 10 touch. Eagles only have eight.
beginning of the second quarter. Fresh eight minutes up there. Jack Howard with the inbound. You can get it out to Turner Wentz. Tries to get past Stanifer, but Stanifer is there wherever he goes. Trent Webster, nice first step, tries to get past Miller. Wins with a nice shot fake, but Stanifer isn't falling for it. The shot by number three will fall. Trent Webster with the three-pointer. Stanifer to Johnson. He has the room. Stanifer in the corner. Nice ball movement around the perimeter for the Eagles. Logan Blue with the three-pointer, and he just clanks that one off the side of the rim. Shots have not fallen for the Eagles, so they have gotten very good looks. Wins with the ball. Shoves over Stanifer, but no call. Number two with the shot, and he buries it. That'll be Jack Howard, the junior, 16-8. Johnson with a nice hesitation. He's going to take a shot, and he buries it. But that's just going to be a two-pointer. Ten points. Heavy load relies on Keyshawn Johnson's shoulders for the offensive end of the floor, especially with Matt out tonight. Another three-pointer is up. That one's going to be a little bit short. Rebound by Spence. He's got it himself. Over to Stanifer. He takes it to the hole. Nice lay in. And that's going to be and one with a blocking foul. 12 to 16. Stanifer with a nice first step. Fake and then goes to the hole, drawing the foul. Grant Bugby checking back in the game. Standifer with the free throw is no good. They're going to call a foul on Jacob Schultz. You can see a patch above, just above Bugby's eye. It's where he was cut and bleeding. And now he's good to go and out on the court. Howard just blows by Bugby. Jacob Schultz there with the foul. Tried not to put two hands on him, but did not was not able to do that. Warren Good checking in for Schultz as Schultz is getting into foul trouble. He is crucial to this team coming off of the bench. Howard with the pass into number 10, Colton Fee. Good there with a the pickup off the pick. Wentz with the ball in the perimeter. Spence there with the pickup. And a wide open attempt for a stick line, and he's just going to be a little bit long, but Mays is unable to get the rebound. Hutchinson's ball, inbounder number 25, Mason Fawcett, the 5'9 junior. <clears throat> Stanifer overcommitted on that one, got burned. Fawcett with the ball, tries to take it to the hole. Out to Wentz, nice cross, he gets to the bucket, almost with the feather lay-in, and just darts it off of Warren Good's leg. <laughs> Score 16 to 12 Salt Hawks. 5-17 left in the second quarter. Howard's going to be the inbounder. Over to Fawcett. Webster is knocked down a three, is on the perimeter. 
Double teamed by Spence and Good. And they're going to call a foul on Drake Spence. Excuse me, they're, they're just going to call that one out of bounds. Off of a maze defender. Jack Howard with the pass in that is tipped away by Johnson, but brought back by Fawcett. Trent Webster with the ball up top, guarded tightly by Spence. That one's going to be out of bounds, a turnover, but turnover for the Salt Hawks. May's offense has got to get going. They've had very good looks so far tonight. They just had to knock the shots down, and then the rest of the offense will take care of itself. Keyshawn Johnson over to Grant Bugby. Johnson with a nice hesitation. Standiford drives to the hole. Nice step back. And they're going to call a blocking foul, and that was a good call on Mason Fawcett. He was not set. Still moving. Standifer over to Johnson. They got a mismatch down there in this paint with Spence. Johnson over to Bugby. He takes the three. That one's a little bit long. Put back by Standifer is good. 16 to 14. Now just a two point lead for the Salt Hawks. Standifer has been very good offensively so far tonight. Trey Richards with the ball. Pass down to 32 down in the paint, and he just whiffs on that one. That's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by number 21, Balik Middleton. Three fifty left in this second period. Stand up over to Bugby. Johnson's got some room to work with. Standifer with the three pointer. And he knocks that one down. Standifer is on fire so far. His shot is going and his effort is on another level. 17 to 16. The Eagles have taken the lead. First time of the game. Webster had nowhere to go. Wentz trying to jab Standifer away. He tried to throw it off Standifer's leg. And that one's going to be hit out of bounds by Keyshawn Johnson. Three minutes left in the second quarter. 16 to 17, Mays. Three minutes left in the second half, 17 to 16. Mays has taken the lead off of the three-pointer by Cortland Stanifer, who has had a very good offensive night so far. Stick line with the ball. Webster with a nice backdoor cut pass to number 25. Mason Fawcett, he gets the easy lay-in. Andrew Wilcox checking in for Mace. That's over to Bugby. Johnson with the ball. And they're going to call a travel, say they moved his pivot foot. Number three, Trent Webster with the pass in. Get that out to Fawcett.
Wilcox with the steal. He's got to open Johnson. Johnson with the three-pointer. That one's a little long off the backboard. His shot isn't working for him so far tonight. Once he gets into the groove, there's no stopping him. Fawcett trying to get past Johnson. Nothing going for him. Webster on the perimeter. He's knocked down one three tonight. Down the stick line. Nice power dribble. Blocked by Logan Miller. Warren Good with a shot from the elbow. In that one rolls in. 19 to 18. This is once again reclaim the lead. Wilcox with the defense on Howard. Nice pick up by Warren Good. Tight defense on Howard. Wilcox is back on him. Howard with the pass to Fawcett. They're going to say that Miller shoved him. One twenty-three left in his first half. Drake Spence and Colton Stanford for checking in for, for the Eagles. Pass out to Webster, over to Wentz, back to Howard. Wentz with the space. Webster with the three-pointer, and that one is an air ball. Nearing the one-minute mark. Wilcox over to Miller in the corner. Standifer to, Wil to Miller in the corner once again. He drives baseline. Spins out to Wilcox. Nice shot fake. Over to Standifer. He takes a three-pointer, and he knocks it down. Standifer carrying the offensive load for the Eagles so far. Forty seconds left in this first half. 22-18 Eagles. Nice screen set by number 10, Colton Fee. Wester with the three-pointer. And he misses that one. Back-to-back -back misses by Webster. Stanford over to Wilcox. Over to Miller. Wilcox with the three. And that's a little bit long. Miller with the rebound. Stanford with the three-point shot. That's a little long. Rebounded by number five, Trey Richards. Wentz pushing the, pushing the tempo. Webster with the shot. And that one is just a little long. Nice hit away by Wilcox. That is going to mark the end of the first half. Score, 18 Hutchinson, 22 Mays.
Welcome back to the start of the second half. Mays has taken a lead, 22 to 18, off above the Salt Hawks. Mostly in part to Cortland Standifer on the offensive end. He has had plenty of putbacks and two three-pointers just in the first half. Mays has finally shown the high-octane offense that they have shown earlier in the season in the first half of this game. Toward the end, the first half, it was the first half of the first half, I might say, is was really slow and not in the rhythm that they like to play in. Mays definitely likes a up-tempo, run-and-gun kind of offense. We're getting ready under to go underway in the second half. Fresh eight minutes on the clock. Logan Miller missed a few three-pointers. He's looking to get into his groove, as well as Keyshawn Johnson, the leading scorer on this Eagles team. Miller ball on the wing. That's down the good. It's tipped. Howard has the rebound. Good there with the tight D on Howard. Stick line on the right wing with the ball. Down to Colton Fee in the post. He's against Drake Spence. Spence has got the size advantage. Webster there just gets the ball in his hands. Over to stick line. Nice first step to blow past Johnson. He tries to get the easy lane. is unable to. He gets his own rebound and is fouled. That's going to be offensive foul on stick line, so Mays is going to get the ball. Stand it for up the court. Over to Johnson. Stand it for to good in the corner. Drives baseline back to Stand it for. Johnson with the open, with some room, excuse me. Over to Spence on the elbow. Standifer with a nice pump fake. Over to Johnson, he takes the three-pointer. And that one just rims out off the front of the iron. That's going to be a foul on the defense on Warren Good. Salt Hawk ball, 18-22. They're, excuse me, they're going to call that on Drake Spence, not Warren Good. 6.30 left in the third quarter. No one has scored so far in this half. Been primarily a defensive game. Stick line with the face up to the basket. Webster over to Fawcett. Excuse me, Fee. Wentz drives baseline over to an open Howard. He takes a three just a bit off. Rebounded by Wentz, and he is a scrapper. Bulldog down the paint and on the perimeter. Howard got away with the travel there. Stick line with the easy baseline drive. One power dribble, and he was at the rim. Johnson over the Miller. Miller hits him with the jab. And Mays is going to call a timeout. With 5.40 left in the third quarter, Hutch has 20 and the Eagles have 22. Now the lack of a post presence has really affected the Eagles so far, not having their main player, Matt LeBeague. And 
you could say it has shown through the scoreboard, but mostly it has shown through the easy buckets that they've gotten in the paint and the amount of rebounds that they could have gotten if uh, Labig was there. But they still have the two-point lead. They're looking to increase that with their guard play. Good and Spence have done a good job holding down the fort in the paint, grabbing offensive rebounds and as well as defensive rebounds. Stand it for over to Bugby. Still has that that patch over his eye as he was hurt earlier in the first half. Good with the ball on the wing. Just perimeter passing. Not much happening so far. Good with the ball. He's got Spence on the elbow, passes it to Standifer. Not many moving parts so far. Standifer tries to get past Howard. Bugby over to Good. Standifer trying to orchestrate the offense. Johnson over to Bugby. Long possession here for the Eagles. Nice first step by Johnson. He is fouled by Turner Wentz. 4.31 left in this third quarter. Johnson with the ball. They have Spence down low who has a size advantage on stick line. Spence at the elbow. Nice floater. That one just rims out. That's going to be eagle ball. Spence just did a little more touch for that shot to fall. Bugby with the pass in the standifer. Bugby over to Standifer on the wing. Johnson with nice first step. Over to Standifer. He takes a three. Just off iron. Offensive rebound by Fence. Power dribble. Over to Bugby in the corner to Standifer. That one's tipped away by number three, Webster. He gets a steal, takes it himself, and he's going to be fouled on the floor. A hold by Keyshawn Johnson. Score still 20 to 22, a slow third quarter to say the least. Attempted inbound the stick line and he just bobbles it off of his own knee. Good defense by Schultz. Stick line has the power over most of the taller defenders of Mays, but Mays has made do with what they have and they've done very well with it. Bugby to Johnson. Standard gets it to Miller. Hits him with the jab. Standard for the Bugby. Joel's on the elbow. Standifer with the easy layup. Couldn't quite get that one. Schultz there tripping up stick line. And it's getting a little heated down in the paint. And looks like they teed up. Excuse me, they're going to just inbound the ball. Or 
No, it looks like Coach Grill did get teed up for the Eagles. Stick line with the free throw attempts. <clears throat> the first one goes down, 21 to 22. Three minutes left in this third quarter. Second free throw attempt falls. And Hutchinson is going to get the ball. It's all tied up. Jack Howard with the ball. Johnson's got the defense. Good with the pickup. Decline with the power dribbles. Tried to just power his way through the paint. They're going to call that foul on the floor. Basket will not count. 2.49 left in this third quarter. Wins with the inbound. He gets it to stick line. Jack Howard tripping on his own feet over there on the left wing. And Wentz takes it to the hole. And they're going to call a foul, though Warren Good had his hand straight up. It's a foul in their minds. Wentz is going to get two shots. 2.28 left in this third quarter. The first one is just a little bit strong off the iron. The second free throw attempt gets the shooter's roll, rolls in. Pushing the pace. Bugby in the corner. Over to Open Johnson. Nice ball fake. He drives to the rim. Nice left-handed layup by Keyshawn Johnson. Retake the lead, 2.14 left in the third quarter, 23 to 14, Mays. Stick line with the mid-range jumper, he buries it. 25 to 14, lead is going back and forth for each team. Johnson, over to Good. Over to Standifer. Miller with the three-pointer. And that one just rolls out. Good with the rebound. The put back. And that one falls. 26 to 25. Once 137 left in the third period. Mays is going to call a full timeout. Coming back from the timeout, Webster is going to inbound the ball for the Hawks. 137 left in the third quarter. Trying to get it up court. The press is on. 
At least it was. Johnson with the tight defense. Howard can't get past him. Howard trying to orchestrate the offense. Over to Webster. He takes the three. That one rattles out. Rebounded by number 10, Colton Fee. Not a great first step by Howard. Stick line with the pick. Johnson is able to get over it, but they are going to call a moving screen on stick line. Stanford with the ball, 55 seconds left in this first in the third quarter. Johnson with the drive. Nice left-handed layup, no good. They're going to call a foul on Johnson, though he was just standing there. Guess that's a foul in their mind, so it's a, fa it's a foul on the court. 45 seconds left. May still has the lead just by one point, 25 to 26. Drake Spence checking in for Keyshawn Johnson. Can't afford Johnson getting into foul trouble for his vital part of this team. Nice behind the back by Wentz. He's shown that quite a few times in this game, but Mays hasn't been able to pick it up. Moving screen not called by number 32. That one's stolen away. Standifer with the nice zero step to the basket. He lays it in and one. 28-25. Stanifer with a sweet Euro step to the basket. Got fouled, and he gets the two. <laughs> Stanifer with his free throw attempt. He knocks it down. 25-29. Standifer has had a huge game for the Eagles. He's done it all on the offense, whether it's three-pointers, three-pointers the old-fashioned way, or just good old-fashioned putbacks. And his defense has been great so far. Just eight seconds left. Tipped away by Standifer. He's all over the place. Webster with the shot. He tries to get it up, and that's going to be just short. He's calling for a foul, though there's nothing there. At the end of the third, 25 to 29, Mace. as both teams come back from the timeout. So you Standifer has absolutely been on fire on, the, on both ends of the floor. He's had just about everything that you want from a point guard. He's orchestrated the offense. He's taken his shots. He's taken good shots. And he's penetrating through the Hawks defense. Wentz over to the point guard, Jack Howard, the six-foot junior. Tries to, get, tries to get past Johnson. Webster gets away with the travel. He loses the ball anyway. Standing for over to leading Johnson. And he banks it in. Didn't have the angle there, but floated it in anyhow. 25 to 31.
Wins foot goes over the pick. Wins with the ball. Pick by Stickline. Shot from the elbow from Wentz is rebounded by uh, Jack Howard. <coughs> Tries to take it to the right. Finds Webster on the perimeter. Wentz has an open shot, and he knocks it down. That's going to be a three-pointer. 28 to 31. Now just only a three-point lead. Bugby on the wing. Miller's got the ball. And he turns it over. Miller has not had the game he wanted to. Just one three-pointer has fallen for him on multiple attempts. The foul by Logan Miller. Number, thir number three, Trent Webster taunting the Eagles defense. And Webster's going to get the one and one. 621 left in the fourth quarter. That one's up, and that one falls. He's going to get another one. Second one is up, and the second one falls. Just a one-point lead for the Eagles. <coughs> Over to Bugby in the corner. Back to Standifer. Johnson with the open shot, and he knocks it down. 34 to 30. Stick line with the clear path. He just loses the ball there. Over to Bugby. Back to Johnson. And open Miller for three. And he makes it. Back-to-back -back three pointers for the Eagles to separate this lead to just seven. Webster with the ball. Pass over to Wentz on the corner. Webster with the three. And he fires one right back. 33 to 37 with 529 left in this fourth quarter. Hutch is going to get a timeout. Coming back from the timeout, 5.29 left in this fourth quarter. Back to back to back threes. Eagles have knocked down two, and these Hawks have knocked down one just in these past couple minutes. And Stanifer is going to bring up the ball. We're going to call off a travel, excuse me, on Stanifer. Wentz with the ball. Guarded tightly by Cortland. They're going to call a reach in. He's going to get two shots. That's going to be a one and one. And he nails the first one. 34 to 37, just a three point lead. Eagles have 18 fouls, Salt Hawks just three. And the second free throw is no good, rebounded by Keyshawn Johnson. 
not looking to push it. Risky pass to Miller, over to Spence on the wing. Stanifer with the sweet fake, and they're going to call a charge. Not sure about that call. Player was basically underneath the rim, almost on the baseline. Howard has got the ball. Johnson gets over the pick. Webster drives baseline, tries to go off board, unable to. Miller's got the ball. Over to Standifer, open to an open Johnson. He shoots it, and he just misses. They're going to call a foul on Drake Spence, number 15. That's going to be a one and one for the Hawks. Howard with the shots. He knocks the first one down. Team, ten, team, ten team fouls for the Eagles. So from here on out, they're shooting two automatically. Howard with the second attempt. That one falls. Just a one-point lead for the Eagles. Stanford over to Johnson. Back to Stanford to Bugby. Johnson over to Bugby. To the elbow. Schultz tried to get it to Bugby. That one's going to be tipped out of bounds. Four minutes and 22 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Johnson from the inbound in the corner. Outlet pass to Stanford. Swings it to Miller. And he swings it to Johnson. Stanford with the pump fake. Over to Schultz. Johnson back to Stanford. Johnson over to Bugby. At the elbow. A lot of ball movement from the elbow to the wing. And Johnson with the three-point attempt. And that one is just a bit long. They're going to call a foul on number 21, Logan Miller. And that's going to be automatic, too. 3.47 left. The Eagles really need to watch their fouls. A careless foul can mean the end of the game. Fee with the first shot, and he knocks it down. It's all tied up. Might as well be 0-0. Zero, zero. The points have come to a halt here as of late. Three-pointers aren't falling as much as they used to be. Fee with the second free throw attempt. And he knocks that one down. They have reclaimed the lead. 38-37, to 37, Hutchinson. Johnson with the ball. Down to Cortland Stanifer for three. Doesn't quite get that one. Aggressive rebound by Spence. He's got it by himself in the corner. A flop by number three. Spence with the three, and that's a little bit long. Stanifer with the rebound. Bugby, he hits the three, and he makes it. 40 to 38 by the clutch by Grant Bugby, the sophomore. Webster down low. He just loses the ball. Johnson over to Bugby. Back to Johnson. Bugby for three. That one's a little bit short. 
The threes are coming in for Mays from all over the court. They may not fall, but they're going up. 250 left. Just a two-point lead for Mays. Howard trying to get rid of the ball. He picked up his dribble. They're gonna call Hutchinson is gonna call a timeout. That's gonna be just that's gonna be a full timeout for Hutchinson. With 238 left in the fourth, 38 to 40 Mays. Both teams coming back from the timeout. Nail biter here. 2.38 left. Just a two point lead for the Eagles. Both teams have played a very physical, aggressive, defensive oriented game. And now for both teams, the threes are coming in. And they might not, they might not be coming down very, at a high percentage, but they are coming down. As Keyshawn Johnson tips the pass out there. Wentz is gonna get the inbound. Wentz just gets it to Webster. Bugby with the tight D. Stick line with a nice pass to number 10. Rebounded by, by Jacob Schultz. Nice. Way to be strong with that ball to get the rebound. Johnson the standifer. Johnson's double teamed. He just gets it to Bugby. Over to Standifer. Spence has got a little bit of room to work with. Standifer to Bugby. He's got to open Johnson in the corner. He takes the drive. Over to Spence. Easy floater, and he knocks it down. 